guys? All right, so today I just wanted to do a pretty short, quick video. Um, so on the M4, I have blacked out the kidney grills and blacked out the back M4 badges. And I love the way it looks, but there is one thing that is just bothering me about it, is that the side uh, grills where the vents are, and those are still chrome, and it's bothering me. So I decided to start looking around at getting those in black, and they're between $150 and $200. And so I thought, that's kind of crazy for black plastic. Um, so. I think I can do that with some vinyl wrap and I'm going to give it a shot. If it doesn't work and it looks like crap, then I'm going to re, you know, take it back off and I'll order the black ones. But I figured it was worth a shot trying to wrap them black and I'm going to see if it looks good and uh, you'll get to see it along with me. So yeah, let's go out to the garage and uh, pull out the chrome badges and I'm going to bring them in here at the table set up so that I have kind of a, a work area to heat up the vinyl and do a wrap on them. So let's go to the garage. Alright, so yeah this has been bothering me. I just really want to get this done. Alexa, turn on garage lights. Oh I just love that. <clears throat> If you didn't know what I was talking about, this is what I mean. So these are still chrome and the chrome the grill used to be chrome and I ordered a blacked out grill and also oh god knocking stuff over. Also this rear emblem used to be chrome and I got a black one as well. So to go along with the car and everything match up, I feel like these need to be blacked out as well. So I'm going to get a tool here of some sort. I need to pry those uh, side grill pieces off. Should just pop off pretty easily. And uh, let me see if I can find something to get in there that's not going to cause any damage to the paint. All right, guys. So a plastic pry tool would be the most ideal scenario for this. Couldn't find mine, but I have this plastic spatula, which I used from an old George Foreman grill or something, and I don't even use it anymore, so I'm just going to designate this to a garage tool, and uh, this will be never used for food again, <laughs> unfortunately, but that's okay. I don't use it. So essentially what you want to do is, there's just a small little lip here between the black plastic and the chrome piece, and you can get the spatula in behind here just kinda pull it up um, you could if you wanted to tape around the edges here uh, so that you're not jarring any of the paint um, I'm gonna try it without tape on this side I don't think I'm just gonna be careful um, if I screw it up that's on me so I'm just gonna try to see if I can get in oh yeah this will work easy okay so pry in behind here Get that side up. Okay, I got one of the sides up there. There we go. Okay, so it feels a little sketchy. Uh, you have to put a decent amount of pressure back there. I was afraid I was going to break it, so I kind of took my time with it. And then, so I got it all the way out to about here. And I think there's one more piece that's kind of holding it in. It's back here. Ah, there we go. Okay. Whew, that was scary. So, there's two main bigger clips on the outer edges here and uh, those are the ones that have all the holding power and there's two smaller clips that they pop out but they don't have a ton of the holding power and then this side just kind of slides in and out so to get that off 
all I had to do was be very gentle with it and just kind of work it from the back towards the front. Once you get that last clip out, you'll pull out on that side. So, but now that I figured this side out, do the same over here. We have both of the M4 side grills off and so next we're going to clean these off with some rubbing alcohol and we'll get the vinyl ready so let's get that started all right guys <clears throat> all right so got our black vinyl uh, I have a hair dryer for heating up the vinyl so we can stretch it a little bit uh, Got our two M4 grills, side gill, grill, I guess you want to call it. Uh, I've got this goofy little exacto uh, uh, knife set that I got at Harbor Freight at one point, and it will be perfect for once we wrap it. We're going to want to go through and uh, peel out and cut along this edge so we can pull out the vinyl and expose the M4 uh, logo there in the center. So, to get started, I'm gonna keep this exacto knife out. To get start, started on this, we need to clean these off. I'm gonna just use some rubbing alcohol. So essentially, what I wanna do here is I'm gonna kinda just get a rough layout. Now that these pieces are clean, I'm going to put the pieces on here and I'm going to go a little overboard on my cutting, but that's just for making me feel like I have some room for air. <clears throat> really doesn't make a difference, so I'm just going to cut out some pieces so I know that it'll wrap fully around that grill piece and have some extra on top of that. What I'm about to do is peel the vinyl and uh, kind of hold it up here and um, <clears throat> just get it malleable with the heat. And then once it's malleable, I'm gonna just kind of stretch it down over the part and uh, work it all the air bubbles out from there so um, got plenty of vinyl if I screw this up so I'm just gonna go right ahead and try it there we go Wow, actually worked out pretty good. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna start folding in some of this extra vinyl onto the inside so that the edge is not just a bare edge that's exposed. I kinda want some of this vinyl tucked up under so that the uh, like washing the car doesn't get <clears throat> soap up in there and start peeling up the edges. So I'm gonna wrap that edge into the inside here a little bit, but what I'm going to do is make a cut so that's not too much folding inwards here, making it too ridiculous to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through and make the incisions all the way around the edge here. It's going to allow the exacto knife to just ride that indent.
that on there. I can. the center out and expose that M4 logo there and then I've got some air bubbles right along this lip and I'm pushing them to the closest the closest uh, edge that I can find so for these if I tuck them inwards there's an edge there, so just kind of working that, trying to get that to fit in there tight. <laughs> Overall, I think that looks pretty good. Um, if it looks like crap <clears throat> in a couple months, then I'll redo it or not and buy the OEM ones that are black and learn from my mistake of thinking I could do this myself, but I think it looks pretty darn good. All right, so now we can switch over and do the other side now. way better tuck that vinyl up around the edges there nice these will fit right over and uh, super low cost option to blacken out your side grills so I like that <clears throat> so next I think we're just gonna go back out into the garage and we'll install these All right, we're back out in the garage and we got our black wrapped side grills and all we gotta do is just kinda slide these into place and they should just click in. Boom, there we go. Wow, that looks much better. Boom, there we go. Those edges look good. And as you can see, looks a heck of a lot better. Turns out you can uh, do that yourself at home. It's a little bit tedious, uh, just gotta be patient. Uh, but overall, looks good. And um, I'll keep you posted over the next few months uh, with washing the car and just letting it sit out in the parking lots and stuff in the heat and uh, see how that vinyl holds up out there. And uh, hopefully it holds up for at least a year or two. And um, that should be a nice look to the car. It kind of completes that look. It goes with the black grill in the front here and the black emblem in the back. So I'm happy. And I thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, make sure you subscribe if you're interested in seeing more M4 videos in the future. And uh, also write a comment and let me know if there's any videos that you would like to see, any mods you'd like me to do to the car. Alrighty, well thank you guys for watching and have a good one.